The risks of air travel are on a lot of people's minds right now after the flight MH17 tragedy and now the aviation alert in Israel, obviously. And joining us to help sort things out here is security expert Mr. Larry Gorb. So European and U.S. allies are halting the flights to Israel, as you know. Is everyone just in a state of shock right now and a little jittery about what's happened? Well, it's a combination of two things. One, obviously, what happened to the Malaysian Airlines flight, and then, of course, what's going on in Israel. And remember now, your insurance companies are going to say, wait a second, you know, if you do this, you know, we're not going to, you know, uh, cover it or we're going to raise your premiums dramatically. So it's, it is a, a question right now of better to be safe than sorry. Do you think they've actually revisited their policies in light of this? Well, I think what it is, whenever you fly, you, you can't tell a pilot which way to go. You can recommend and you can say, you know, we're going to go over here and this is safe. But as a pilot, you can say, well, no, I don't think so. On the other hand, the airline can say, given what we know, we don't want you to go, you know, o o o over there. And you remember yesterday, on Monday, the U.S. Uh, embassy in Israel issued a warning that don't even travel there, they mm -hmm. said. So they may not have even had that many people, you know, wanting to go. How will the ban actually impact Israel itself, you think? Well, psychologically, it hurts Israel because they're saying it's obviously, you know, tourism is very important. But on the other hand, they're saying, hey, the terrorists won, you know, because that's what they wanted. They didn't want you to go. And, and the, the, the uh, event that got them to put the ban in was a, a rocket landed about a mile from Ben Gurion Airport. That's right. Um, you know, we go through security, obviously, when we go through um, our nation's airports in the U.S. I mean, everything has changed in light of 9-11. Do you think the, the outside space will be looked at? Well, closer? I think they're going to be much more careful about flying over areas where there is combat because, <clears throat> as we saw in eastern Ukraine, you have a missile that can go to 72,000 feet. I mean, that's way above. I mean, everybody just assumed that they would have these shoulder fire uh, things that, you know, some of the rebels have where they could shoot down, you know, <clears throat> a, a low flying military planes, but nobody was thinking about uh, civilian planes. Uh, when I was in government, we were very concerned about giving. Uh, those type of missiles to the Afghan fighting the Russians because it could fall into the wrong hands. Now, fortunately, with the, that the Stinger missile, it never happened. But people worried about that a long time. Looking back, is there any kind of uh, security measure that could have been in place that could have alerted someone to the activities and the missiles uh, in the I area? doubt it. I mean, planes have been flying over Ukraine all, all, of the, all of the time. I think what should have happened is when the, you had intelligence that the Russians had put those, that uh, Buk missile in there that can go to 70, people should have said, wait a second, you know, we ought to be more careful uh, that this thing can go up much higher because previously you were talking maybe about 20,000 feet would be max. Once those things got in, I mean, they're designed to shoot down U-2, the spy planes. So I think people should have said, wait a second, we better be more careful now that they're over there. So perhaps a break in the chain of command of communication there. Well, I, I think, and again, the airlines might not have known that. I mean, I think that probably the intelligence services right. did. They probably should have. And maybe they did pass it to U.S. airlines, but obviously the poor Malaysian airlines already had problems. You know, did anybody, you know, did anybody tell them? So MH17, this could have been actually, you know, any airline you believe in. Could this. Have been, it could have been any air. A lot of airlines from flying over over Ukraine and I think the real issue is nobody realized that the Russians had ceded control over there as to a bunch of rebels uh, who really don't have the training or the command and control. All righty. Larry Corp, thank you so much. We thank really you. appreciate your time and your nice insight. Nice to be with you.